Hey everyone, a warm welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we are going to look at how to install pip on Ubuntu 24.04. And in case you're new to this channel, please do consider liking and subscribing to it so that I can continue making more of these Linux tutorials. Now, pip is a default package management tool for Python and it lets you install, update, and manage Python packages from an online repository called py. PI, which is short for Python Package Index. As you know, Ubuntu 24.04 comes with uh, Python 3 already, already installed. And to confirm this, just run the command Python 3 version. And from our output, you can see we already have Python 3.12 already installed all right now pip does not come with the python installation and just to confirm this you can run the command uh, pip3 version okay so as you can see from the output the pip command is not found and it provides you with a command for installing it which is sudo apt install python3 hyphen pip and this is is exactly the command you're going to run so First, you need to update the local package index by running the command sudo apt update. So this will refresh the local cache. Okay. Next, run the command sudo apt install python3 hyphen pip. Okay, so this is the command that has been recommended here. Okay. So I'm going to hit enter. So this is going to install a bunch of packages, libraries and dependencies. So to proceed, I'll type Y on the keyboard and hit enter. And there we go. The installation of pip is now complete and you can verify this by checking the version of pip installed. Okay. So run the following command pip3 hyphen hyphen version. So as you can see, we have installed pip. 24.04 which by the way is the latest version of pip at the time of making this video all right so so far we have installed pip okay now in the next step we are going to see how to install packages using pip now that we have pip installed the next step is to install a python package and the syntax for doing that is pip3 install followed by the package name all right so for example let's say you're having a web scrapping project and you want to install beautiful soup so all you need to do is to run the command pip3 install uh, beautiful soup and the latest version is beautiful soup 4 okay so hit enter and immediately you do so you're going to see this output displayed on your screen so you get an externally managed environment error okay and when you scroll down you're you are going to get more information about this so here this tells you that this environment is externally managed okay and to install python packages system wide try uh, this command okay now the reason you're seeing this information here is because you're trying to run pip uh, on a system-wide environment or globally which is already managed by a package manager in this case apt for debian systems now by default pip prevents system-wide installations as a precaution against dependency conflicts or issues that may cause applications to fail to work properly okay now there are two workarounds to this error now you can create a virtual environment using this command here python3 hyphen m uh, vnv then the path to the virtual environment or you can force install by overriding this error so you can pass the hyphen break systems packages uh, option towards the end of this command here okay but the most recommended approach is to use a virtual environment since it creates a sandboxed environment for installing and running python packages without causing any dependency errors okay so force installing python packages in a global environment 
can potentially break your system's environment, uh, resulting to conflicts, and this may cause some of the packages to run with errors or anomalies, okay? Now, from here, what I'm going to do, we are going to create a virtual environment. So the first step in creating a virtual environment is to install the virtual environment Python package. And to do so, run the command sudo apt install my Python version in my system. So Python 3.12, then hyphen uh, VNV. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. So this installs the Python virtual environment package. And to continue, I'll press Y and hit enter. So this installs the virtual environment Python package. And we are done. Now, the next step is to create and activate the virtual environment. Okay. And as we saw earlier, the command for doing this is Python 3, then hyphen M, then V, E, and V, then provide the virtual environment name. Okay. So in my case, I'm just going to say uh, sample underscore environment like that and hit enter okay so sorry this is supposed to be hyphen m so hit enter so this is going to create a virtual environment and when you use the ls command you're going to see the virtual environment here that we created sample underscore env and we can check out its contents using the ls command. So as you can see, it includes a bunch of uh, directories and configuration files. Okay. So now we have created the virtual environment. Okay. Now the next step is to activate it and to do so use the source command. Then the virtual environment name. So this is sample underscore vnv then forward slash bin forward slash activate okay so hit enter and immediately you do so you're going to notice that the virtual environment or rather the shell prompt has now changed to reflect the name of the virtual environment enclosed by a set of parentheses now from now from here you can now start installing packages uh, using pip okay now let's go back and install the beautiful soup package okay now to do so simply run the command uh, pip3 install beautiful soup and we are installing version 4 which is the latest so here i'm gonna hit enter and as you can see, the installation is underway. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now we can run the pip list command to check the packages installed. So as you can see, here we have a couple of packages and among them is beautiful soup4, which confirms that we have successfully installed uh, beautiful soup okay now in case you want to upgrade a package simply run the command pip3 install then upgrade then followed by the package name so for example beautiful soup for and hit enter so since beautiful soup is the latest version you're going to see this output that the requirement is already satisfied all right okay in addition to that you can also display more information about the installed package using the command pip3 show uh, beautiful soup four then hit enter so the uh, the output provides you with information such as the name and the version of the package and more additional information okay 
So we have seen how to install and uh, view more information about a Python package. Okay. Now the other installation method is you can opt to install multiple packages by saving their names in a requirements.txt file. Okay. So for example, in my case, I want to install two additional packages for my web scrapping project. So here I'm going to use the nano text editor and I'm going to specify the name of the file, which is now requirements.txt. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to provide the packages that I want to install in bulk. So here I'm going to specify uh, Selenium and I'm going to specify its version. So at the moment, the current version is 4.20 okay and be extra cautious this is a double equal sign okay now the other package is scrappy so here i'm going to specify its version as well and at the moment the current version is version 2.12.0 okay so these are the packages that i want to install at a go okay so i'm going to save the file by pressing ctrl o uh, hitting enter to save then to exit i'm going to press ctrl x okay now to install python packages uh, saved in a text file what i'm going to do i'm going to run the command uh, pip3 install with the hyphen r option then followed by the name of the text file in this case requirements.txe tx txt and hit enter so as you can see, the installation of both packages is underway. Okay, so just give it a few seconds to complete. And that's it guys. The installation is now complete. And here you can see the notification successfully dis uh, installed all these packages. Okay. And uh, we can run the pip list command once again to check the packages installed. And this time around, you can see we have quite a number of packages that came with Selenium and Scrappy. So here you can see Selenium and uh, you can see Scrappy and a bunch of other a bunch of other packages. Okay. Also, we can run the command pip3 show selenium and hit enter so you can see uh, more information about selenium and likewise you can check for scrappy and there you go okay all right now to uninstall a package for example scrappy just run the command pip3 uninstall uh, scrappy and hit enter so to proceed just type y on the keyboard and hit enter so here you're going to receive an acknowledgement notification successfully uninstalled scrappy 2.1.2 okay also you can remove multiple packages at a go so for example if you want to remove selenium uh, and beautiful soup four and hit enter so this is beautiful okay it was a type error so hit enter so here uh, just type y to proceed and for beautiful soup also do the same y and hit enter okay so here you can see uh, uninstalled beautiful soup uh, 4.4.13 okay and uninstalling selenium 4.20 okay so here you can see successfully uninstalled selenium 4.20 and successfully uninstalled beautiful soup 4.13.1 okay and that's it for using pip so in this 
video i demonstrated how to install pip on ubuntu 24.04 we have looked at how to install python packages how to upgrade them how to list more information and also how to uninstall python packages now to uh, to exit from the virtual environment simply run the command deactivate hit enter and this returns you to your normal linux shell okay so guys that it for this lecture i hope you found this video insightful and that you can now install pip and install and my manage python packages in your virtual environment so that's it guys please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel to get more of these linux tutorials so that's it see you in the next lecture